Hello everyone, so myself Gaurangi Kushma and today I am back with my new video on PIL that is Public Interest Litigation. So let's start. The expression of public interest litigation has been borrowed from American jurisprudence where it is designed to provide legal representation to previously unrepresented groups like the poor, the racial minorities, unorganized consumers, citizens who were passionate about the environmental issues, etc. Public interest litigation, PIL, means litigation filed in a court of law for the protection of public interest, such as pollution, terrorism, road safety, constructional hazards, etc. Any matter where the interest of public at large is affected can be redressed by filing a public interest litigation in a court. Public interest litigation is not defined in any statute or in any act. It has been interpreted by judges to consider the intent of public at large. Public interest litigation is the power given to the public by courts through judicial activism. However, the person filing the petition must prove to be satisfaction of the court that the petition is being filed for a public interest and not just as a frivolous litigation by a busybody. The court can its, itself take cogniz cognizance of the matter and proceed sumo to or cases can commence on the petition of any public spirit individual. Some of the matters which are entertained under PIL are bonded labor matters, neglected children, non-payment of wages to workers and exploitation of casual workers, atrocities of women, uh, environmental pollution and disturbance of ecological balance, food adulteration, maintenance of heritage and culture. Now, who can file a PIL and against whom? So, any citizen can file a public case by filing a petition. Under Article 32 of the Indian Constitution in the Supreme Court, under Article 226 of the Indian Constitution in the High Court, under Section 133 of the Criminal Procedure Court in the Court of Magistrate. However, the court must be satisfied that the writ petition fulfills some basic needs of PIL as the letter is addressed by the aggrieved person. Public spirited individual and a social action group for the enforcement of legal or constitutional rights to any person who are not able to approach the court to redress. Uh, a public interest litigation can be filed against a state, central government, municipal authorities and any other private party. The definition of state is the same as given under Article 12 of the Constitution and this includes the governmental and parliament of India. Government and the legislature of, the, of each of the states and all local and other authorities within the territory of India and under the control of government of India. Now, let's have a look on significance of PIL. The aim of PIL is to give the common people access to the court to obtain legal redress. PIL is an important instrument of social change and for maintaining the rule of law and accelerating the balance between law and justice. The original purpose of PILs have been to make justice accessible to poor and the marginalized. It's important tool to make human rights reach to those who have been denied rights. It democratizes the access of justice to all. Any citizen or organization who is capable can file petition on behalf of those who cannot do it or do not have a means to do so. It helps in judicial monitoring of state institutions like prisons, asylums, protective homes, etc. It's an important tool for implementing the concept of judicial review, enhance public participation in judicial review of administrative action is assured by the inception of PILs. Now, certain weaknesses of PIL. Uh, PIL actions may sometimes give rise to the problem of competing rights. For instance, 
when a court orders the closure of a polluting industry the interest of the workmen and their families who are deprived of their livelihood may not be taken into account by the court it could lead to overburdening of courts with frivolous pils by parties with vested interest pils today have been appropriate for corporate political and personal gains today the pil is no more limited to problems of the poor and the oppressed cases of judicial overreach by the judiciary is the process of solving socio economic and environmental problems can take place through pils pil matters concerning the exploited and disadvantaged groups are pending for many years inordinate delays in the disposal of pil cases may render many leading judgments merely of academic value now let's have a look on some landmark judgments the supreme court in india indian bank association bombay and ois versus ms devkala consultancy service and ois held in an in in an appropriate case where the petitioner might have moved a court in her private interest and for redressal of the personal grievance the court in furtherance of public interest may treat it a necessity to inquire into the state of in, into the state of affairs of the subject of litigation in the interest of judgment thus a private in interest case can also be treated as a public interest case mc mehta versus union of india in a public interest litigation brought against ganga water pollution so as to prevent any further pollution of ganga water supreme court held that petitioner although not a reparian owner is entitled to move the court for the enforcement of statutory provi provisions as he is the person interested in protecting the lives of the people who make use of ganga water vishaka versus state of rajasthan the judgment of the case recognized sexual harassment as a violation of the fundamental constitutional rights of article 14 article 15 and article 21 the guidelines also directed for the sexual harassment of women at workplace prevention prohibition and redressal act 2013 now by this let's move to the conclusion of this video public interest litigation has produced astonishing results which were unthinkable 3 decades ago degraded bonded laborers tortured under trials and women prisoners humiliated inmates of protective women's home blinded prisoners exploited children beggars and many others have been given relief through judicial intervention the greatest contribution of pil has been to enhance the accountability of the governments towards the human rights of the poor the pil develops a new jurisprudence of the accountability of the state for constitutional and legal violations adversely affecting the interest of the weaker elements in this community however the judiciary should be cautious enough in the application of pil avoid to avoid judicial overreach that are violate of the principle of separation of power besides the frivolous pils with vested interest must be discouraged to keep its workload manageable so i hope you all have get got it well and thank you so much by this this is the end of our video and if you like this video to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you so much.